Years ago, a traveling minister went to speak at a church that was a very healthy, thriving church and had a very vibrant and impactful influence in the city. And when he got there, the pastor of that church was so euphoric and was so excited because he had been able to secure this really extremely popular, well-known minister at the time to his church. And he shared it with this particular uh, traveling minister. He was ecstatic. He was euphoric because people were vying to get this particular minister into their church. And he was sharing it with this traveling minister and the, the minister said to him everywhere this minister goes the fruit of his ministry is this the marriage falls apart of the pastor that had him come or someone either in the congregation or in that pastor's family loses their mind now that's deep why because people ministers pastors prophets when they come into your church, when they come into a meeting, when they come into a congregation, when you listen to them, they leave spiritual deposits into you, good or bad. The pastor didn't listen. The pastor had him come. Within two weeks after that minister came, that popular, well-known minister came, the pastor and his wife had to commit their son into a mental institution. And within a short time after that, the husband and wife, the pastor and his wife split. The pastor ended up dying prematurely and the whole church scattered. Why? Because one man made a deposit just because a person is popular, just because a minister is well known, just because a minister knows how to talk and knows how to speak, just because a minister is really prolific and really accurate and flowing with the gifts of the spirit does not make them a minister you should listen to or have in your church or have in your congregation. Be discerning about who you're letting into your space to impart and to speak into your life.